Hello Unigame fans, Fake E3 season is nearly upon us, and while the ESA's flagship event is more or less dead, Jeff Keighley's Summer Games Fest has risen in its place, where as always, I'm excited to see new games being announced. However, that does mean a gap in indie game releases, since no one in their right mind will release a game during that week or so, but despite all of that, I did still manage to find a number of indie games of interest, where these are clustered around the start and end of the month, but I do think that there will be some games of interest to you. Let's begin with Skeleton Crew, a side-scrolling action platformer that describes itself as a platform brawler where you play as heroes making their way through dungeons, kicking and thrashing their way through the levels. While there is multiplayer support, I believe you can play this solo with action that does look pretty fun. There are 12 playable heroes to try, which looks varied, as well as handcrafted non-linear levels which are interesting, looking like a great title to kick us off. We've certainly seen our share of games like Super Ember Kaboom before, a pixel art action platformer with fast-paced action, where I always appreciate a well-crafted one of these. You're collecting fruit, as is an arcade classic, blasting away at enemies with a variety of elemental magic, looking like a fun, smaller game. In every age, there is a cause worth fighting for. But in the future, the greatest threat to our survival will not be men at all. Now the youth of tomorrow must face an enemy more devastating than any ever imagined. Go, go, go. Troopers, with me. A not so indie title of interest is Starship Troopers Terran Command a real-time strategy game that is based on the classic movie IP, we have yet to come across a Starship Troopers game which is actually good, so hopefully, this will be the title to do so. With the city outskirts secure, the rest of the settlement is primed for liberation. Never again will filthy bugs infest these streets. A squad of fearless troopers scout ahead. Their orders? Report on enemy numbers, then lure the bugs back to the mighty bulwark of Static Defender. In case you're not familiar, the movie is a political satire of the hyper-militarism and propaganda that throws young men and women into danger, where based on the trailers, does appear to reflect in this game as well. In terms of comparison, I do think that the closest equivalent would be Company of Heroes, where positioning and cover play a critical role, looking pretty awesome and is being published by Slytherin, who have an extensive catalogue of strategy games under their belt, so hopefully this will turn out well. The plan is working! Huge numbers of arachnids swarm forward unaware, and the scouts fall back to base. Turrets and skillfully placed lines of fire provide an unpleasant surprise for the insects, a ruse that would make Sun Tzu proud. Would you like to know more? The F-76 Thunderbolt, or TAC fighter, represents the pinnacle of airstrike technology. When troopers hear the sweet sound of the F-76 Thunderbolt flying overhead, they know victory is certain. One after another, bugs are mown down by heavy machine gun and small arms fire. Looks like it's going to be another heroic victory for the mobile infantry. The bugs keep coming, but surely their force is almost spent? Plasma fire! Hold! Hold the line! Victory is within your reach, boys! A tanker bug! That's a tanker bug! Hold! Hold the... It all started after dinner. Come on, Ash! Get to the good part! Calm down. It has to start somewhere. <sighs> Fine. Now, where were we?
Developer Stranga has been making interesting adventure games with a little bit of a creepy twist to them, but I'm excited to share that Ashina the Red Witch makes it to release next month. This has you playing as the titular character, exploring a mysterious spirit world filled with all sorts of interesting characters, having to save her sister and to find a way back home. I love the pixel art in this, where in terms of gameplay, it resembles more of an adventure game where you're talking to NPCs, getting items, solving puzzles, and so on. The prologue demo of this on Steam has been received very well, so if you love adventure games, do pick this up. I'll be honest, I didn't quite like the look of Silt when I first came across it, but it does appear that the art style has been tweaked and polished such that I think it looks pretty good here. You play as a diver exploring an underwater ocean abyss filled with strange creatures, having to solve puzzles and avoid getting killed, where you're able to possess other creatures to help you along the way. Of course, this will draw comparisons to Limbo, but I do think that there's something special here. One of the darker entries on this list is My Lovely Wife, a very disturbing game that might need some content warning where you play as a man whose wife is dead, having to resort to the unimaginable to get her back. <laughs> this includes alchemy and the summoning of Succubi to help on his quest, but if any of you are familiar with Full Metal Alchemist, of course you know things will not go well. <laughs> Mechanically, this is essentially a management sim where you're assigning various tasks to the succubi that you summon, including but not limited to sending them to the brothel, we are trying to generate as many carnal essences from these creatures, harvesting them by killing and betraying the succubi which is pretty messed up. Add to that the unnerving character designs with no mouths and you have quite a piece of work, serving as a very apt follow-up to My Lovely Daughter from 2018, which is equally disturbing, showcasing the breadth of indie games. A perhaps not so indie title is Overlord Escape from Nazrik, a pixel art metroidvania title that is based on the popular anime coming to us from Japanese developer engines which is not that small, but it does look good so it gets a spot on the list. You play as a character named Clementine, trying to fight her way out of the great tomb of Nazarek with a grappling hook, parkour abilities and different types of magic as the main gameplay elements. The boss fights in particular look great, so if you love this genre like me, do wishlist the game.
Let's kick off the top 3 with a long-awaited release of Cuphead The Delicious Last Cause, technically a DLC to one of the most beloved indie games of all time, with a fantastic trailer, so enjoy. Like it's bon voyage to our old pals Cuphead, Bugman, and the lovely Miss Chalice. They're off on their next adventure, this time to the fabled DLC Island. What challenges await in this enchanted land? What better way to explore the island than with a leisurely climb into the mountains? Just remember to watch your step! Icy tundra is more to your liking. Don't forget to pack your mittens. Look out for the walloping winter whale. Next stop, the dramatic western plains under the watchful eye of Sheriff Winchester. Yeehaw! But what's this? Why, it's Chef Salt Baker with his famous cookies. He's the best baker in the land. His cookies are sure to put some pep in your step. Oh! <laughs> and you'll need it. For there's a new challenge waiting around every corner on the amazing DLC Island. One of the most amazing games in concept is Card Shark, a gorgeously made adventure game where you're trying to swindle your way into high society by cheating at cards. We all know the classic card games by now, but to have the game built in a cheating mechanic is very interesting, where you cannot get caught or things will get ugly really quickly, coming to us from the developer of Reigns, so I full confidence that this will be great. It is not often that I cover the same game two months in a row in videos like this, but the delayed Metroidvania title Soldiers releases very soon, being pushed out from May into June, and still remains my most anticipated game of the month. It is a gorgeous pixel art Metroidvania with stamina based souls like combat, where interestingly, you have three character classes to choose from, which are essentially warrior, archer, and mage. The environmental puzzles and Metroidvania style exploration appears to be varied and fun, having quite an extensive map with plenty of different areas to explore, so I do hope that this is excellent, taking the number one spot. For more Metroidvania games, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump. Number 1. 